Man, oh man, that bait still is good, bro. Well, glass is kind of crooked, though, son. Oh, 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 I was just, I was just, shot a cock out, folks. Zion Elon, Obo Deep Post. Checking out my boy Hootie here. He got his head all, he's swinging at Ken Smith. <laughs> all right, so today, look, today we're going to, we gonna we gonna get schooled. I'm gonna get schooled because I'm gonna I'm gonna learn it myself. I'm gonna learn something myself. Look, I said learn it myself. I'm gonna learn something myself. All right. So today we got a 5502 in here that's made in Indonesia. <laughs> I said Indonesia. That, that, that that's not even a word. Indonesia. Well, it's made in Indonesia. All right. So beautiful base. I I even had one myself at one point in time. All right, so it came in um, from FedEx, and it wasn't pretty. Okay, we we got some issues again, F FedEx. We got some issues. First of all, let's look at it. Look at that. That is not pretty, man. That is not pretty at all. Good lord. When I took it out of the, out the gig bag, out of the box, that's what it looked like. Ooh, FedEx. I'm ashamed of you guys. I still love you, but I'm ashamed of you. All right, so look. This is a this is a 5502. Oh, let's go back. This is a 5502. You can see it. Lake Lund. All 5502s have Skyline on a uh, series on a headstock. But this one's got some pretty inlays, man. The inlays on this thing is really pretty. Look at that. I like the way they did that. That is so sweet. Look at that. Woo, doggy. That's pretty. Except for that. That big chip out and the other piece is sitting inside the and sitting inside a gig bag. Alright, so today we're gonna learn for those who don't know, you know, a lot of us get 5502s and and we really don't know what's going on inside the base. A lot of times we get the base. Uh, let, um a lot of times a lot, a lot of times we get the base and we don't mm, we don't like the way it sounds. And so because we don't like like the way it sounds, uh, we start changing stuff. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. But look, let's look inside the insides of a 5502. Let's do that. All right. Here we go. First of all, we take the plate off. All right. Take the four screws out. Is it four? Yeah, four screws. Take them out and boom. You see that? You see a little thing on the top. That's the, that's the... That's the uh, control panel. <laughs> I said control panel, which is actually the preamp. But look now. Here we go. Here we go. If we turn this over, look at that. Oh, man. So this will tell you that you can actually revamp your preamp. This is so amazingly cool and good. <laughs> look, amazingly cool and good. Like you could take the 1100 hertz and cut that up, and you could take the 900 hertz and 600 hertz, and you can have 275 hertz. Man, this is this is the mid stuff here. This is the LH3. All right, so if you look at it looking down like this right here, you're looking at. All right, let's put the light on it so you can see. If you look at it looking down like this right here, it looks crazy. <laughs> There's a lot of wires in there, but if you flip this part over, look at that. See that? There's your frequency right there. Uh, basically, um, the um, it looks like uh, the 1100 is hertz is off. 1100 is off, and it looks like the the 900 is off. And it looks like the 275 off. This so she's pretty much dead right now. You know what I'm saying? So she's she's not she's she sounds very dark. So we're going we're gonna to do, we're going to revamp all this, turn stuff on. And once we turn it on, she's going to light up this place. But, man, I hate that look. I hate that part right there. That's not good at all. Ooh, ooh, so sad. But anyway, so once again, guys, if you take your back plate off, this is what you see. All right? And you can adjust your preamp. Lakeland did a good job with that. That is a great job when they did that. Once again, you take the plate off, and you can see this little thing right here with a little rubber piece on the back. Just flip it over. Take you a small... Look. I'm even looking for something small. I'm look. Look. 
take you like a like a small little screwdriver that big and you can actually go inside of it and you can and it pushes up and down watch this it goes up see that and down so this whole this whole base was off the only thing that was up was a probably 1100 hertz and that ain't 1100 is that 1100 nah the only thing that was up in the mid was the was the 900 hertz all right so it looks pretty good in here it looks like a traffic jam though Man, ooh, it's a lot of stuff going on in there i don't want to be in there <laughs> look i don't want to be in there because it looks great there's a traffic jam up in that joint <laughs> sad hey y'all anyway so when you get a 5502 i don't know about the 5501 but the 5502 you can do that all right so we got to take it apart and recon this whole base and hopefully we'll get a brand new base out of this <laughs> well you know hootie is not a lakeland man he 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 plays only smiths you know he, he's a smith man you know by the way he look look at you that should tell you that he's a smith man <laughs> he's a smith man all right who that get you baby i like that bt custom son i see the big s on the top there you go boy there you go and it's a three knob or two boy you better go with your bad self you're bad dude hootie he a bad dude. Well, shout out to Kai Kai, folks. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on this 5502 and um, revive her. Shout